I didn't really know what I was getting into with the court because I've never done this before. So I'm meeting with the lawyer again. I am hoping that the judge will see that Muhammad committed fraud and that he'll grant my annulment. So, where are we at with your annulment? We have a pretrial hearing on Wednesday. Okay. So, have you been in contact with him? I haven't talked talked to him or heard from him since he was going around on social media accusing me and my friend of stealing his identity. Okay. And the issue with that, he called the police saying I stole his identity to get direct TV hooked up. Okay, but you're legally married. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure the police told him you're married. It's, yeah, it, you, you're not stealing his identity. It's just a marital bill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Emotional manipulation is probably the uh, biggest weapon that people use against one another in a divorce situation. You know, and that's why you just cut off the contact because okay. if he's shown that he's going to do that, well, obviously he's been manipulating you all along mm -hmm. throughout the, you know, pre-marriage and through the marriage and mm -hmm. et cetera. If the court feels that you're unreasonable, they're not going to be sympathetic to your case. So um, the less that uh, she gets involved in that emotional um, kind of manipulation, the better. If he's this manipulative, he could very well be trying to get you to, to pull the yeah. annulment by, yeah. by saying that. I do believe he's trying to manipulate me. I think he's putting stuff out there to throw me off. I'm nervous that he's showing up going to cause a scene or he's going to try to manipulate me somehow and pull in the annulment. So at the pre-trial, what determines if it goes forward as an annulment? Well, as we talked about before, the annulment is, a, is an unusual situation. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, it's going to be up to the, to the court whether they're going to dissuade you from going annulment. I mean, that's possible. Is there anything that Muhammad could do at the pretrial to delay it further? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is he shows up without an attorney and then he says, oh no, I need to continue this because I want to get an attorney. So you could wind up having your pretrial rescheduled okay. in order for him to get counsel. And he could do that and still show up without counsel again. Kind of upset because I've been waiting for so long for this. And to hear that he could manipulate it and say he wants to get a lawyer after all this time he's had a chance to get one, for him to do that, it would be very hurtful. It's going to end. Uh -huh. You will terminate your marriage one way or another. If you can't do it by annulment, you can do it by divorce. Okay. So. You will be rid of him at some point. <laughs> um, just be patient. OK. OK. I have waited a long time for this trial hearing. I am nervous that it's finally happening, because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's all going to end. <laughs>